You know, if you wanted to hire my ship, you could have just asked. The map to Skywalker. You know how I can find it. I don't know what you're talking about. Show me where the old man took it. <laughs> I won't I tell you tell anything. anything. You think this ship will protect you? Keep you safe? Get warned. This is where you began. You hoped the Empire would make you brave. Made you a traitor. 
you think she changed you? That your daughter changed you? No? Oh, we're just naming you off the multiplayer maps now. A choice. You found faith. The Jedi. The Jedi. Why, did Why did you help you me? Help? Be a payoff for this, but I just don't care. I like Kylo, but he's, he's in the story for no reason. Just so they can say decades later, we're making the last Jedi. Tell you. traitors right now in in his mind because we're killing stormtroopers right now in his mind just so they can have a mission where Ky you know how to use Kylo
I can't. Tell me where poor Santeca took the map. Bayora. He took it to Bayora. Spare me the pleasantries, Hask. <laughs> we both know how this ends. Yeah, and you don't get to be brave! Because you are not a soldier anymore! Look at you, you're a coward. <clears throat> you traded in your weapon. For what? You know, Aiden may have betrayed me, but you, Del, you let me down! You... Let me down. We all change, don't we? Hey? And look at you. You used to be dead. <laughs> well, Aiden could do just about anything except kill me. Apparently. Ask. Gideon. Please. Don't go after her. It won't end well for you. Please. Resurrection can continue as planned. On the contrary, Cleb. I sought you out because, because you were useful to me once. We rebuilt your home and we allowed Janata Security to maintain control of the system, but in return you have fallen behind schedule and you have allowed an outsider to discover our plan. An honest mistake, I assure you. My men will relocate the pinnacle operation and up no triple our efforts on a third. Well, I shall leave behind a few of my men to see that you do. Make sure you bury Del Mico and his crew. But leave the covers alone. You know it will lead her back here. I'm planning on it. That's how it ended. Okay. There was the one mission that we did before that one. The the one where, where Aiden lands on the ship and goes after her father. That is a good mission. That was one of the only missions that felt like this was an actual story and not just them showing off multiplayer maps and having you play multiplayer maps or having you play as heroes so you know how to play with them when multiplayer starts. Uh, it wasn't even it wasn't even a complete story at all. 
Like, it's one thing. If you're going to make a six-hour game, make a six-hour game or shorter. Uh, it's between four and a half and six hours. If you're going to do that, then do it. Don't... Like... The dude fucking said in an interview that he thought five, five to eight hours was a good length because they didn't want to draw it out because, you know, it's better to have a complete story than... It's better to have a complete story than draw it out. And it wasn't a complete story. They fucking sequel baited a story. That's all they did. It wasn't a complete story at all. So the people defending saying enjoy it for what it is, no, I'm not. Because it wasn't a complete story at all. I'm not saying it has to be a complete story, but you don't have to leave a goddamn cliffhanger, goddamn... Wow. I mean, graphically and sound design wise, it's always going to be amazing, right? The ship combat was really good. The gameplay, the gun, the gunplay is really good. The story was one of the most rushed, cobbled together things I've ever played. Other than that one mission where you go after their father. It just felt like them showing off maps for multiplayer instead of an actual story and i hate that shit i hate it stop stop treating your story mode like it's training for multiplayer and treat it like a fucking story that's all i ask treat it like a fucking story call of duty's call of duty at least tried right that was a fucking story a maybe it had its issues but it tried and it was it was a good war story a little cliche and whatnot but it was a good war story this is star wars there's so much shit you can take from it and you just threw in kylo ren at the end just to set up the next fucking star wars movie decades later and then you kill off dell who some people may be excited that he lived and i and him they lived oh nope here we go decades later he's dead don't worry about him in the next fucking game. They they have right they have 30 years. Think about this. They have thir they had 30 years in all kinds of comics and whatever to work with. And I know they have to go through Lucas Arts or not Lucas Arts. Well, yeah, Lucas Arts. They still got to confirm it with them. I can't believe Lucas Arts. I'm just use one of the characters that's from the comics, like Darth. What was it? Darth. Um, shit. What was his name? Darth Bane or somebody. This is. I don't know. This is multiplayer focused. It's not what the old game's about, but you. This was okay for EA, but a but an Uncharted style Star Wars game is not okay. All right, all right, you do you. It's Star Wars. Act like you care. I don't like to give. A, I don't like to give. I don't like to give. Um, final scores. Uh, without a complete game, but if I have to judge the final score of the story, it would probably be just off story alone. A, well, it's tough. It's six. It's short as shit. It's a five. I'm sorry. It pissed me off. It pissed me off. Okay, I'm pissed. All right, but. That's just my thoughts on it. You tell me what you guys think. You people on YouTube, that's going to do it for Battlefront 2. This is disappointment. Have a good one, guys.